Hi everyone! So this is your first day of the spring break virtual art camp. Um, my name is Miss Jessica and I teach upper school visual arts um, if you're not in my class and you're watching this video. So today we're going to be making artist trading cards. So artist trading cards are really fun. Um, they're basically miniature works of art. Um, most of my students like creating them because they're really quick and easy to do. Um, and you can make a lot of them at one time and have all this artwork that you can keep, collect, and trade. Okay? So, artist trading cards, there's only two rules. So, cards must be 2.5 by 3.5 inches, so the same size as trading cards. And they can never be sold. So, if you have a card that your friend makes that you really, really liked, um, you can trade them, but you wouldn't sell them. So, you could trade one of your cards for one of theirs, just like you do with um, Pokemon cards, baseball cards, things like that. Okay? So, I'll show you a few examples. <clears throat> so, these are cards that I made before we were out of school. Um, my upper school visual arts students um, had the opportunity to start creating at least 10. So these are collage. So collage is when you cut out, in, cut or tear images out of a magazine, newspapers, books, things like that, and you create another image. So with collage, you have to look at how things are layered. So you usually go background to foreground. So with this one, I started with the image of the pie. So I glued that down on my card and then added the words on top. Um, same thing here, the brick wall. I found the image of the lady on a computer and then the words. This one here was a little bit more involved. Um, so I wanted to keep with the color scheme, cool colors. Um, so I taped down the blue here in the back. Then I found the image of the butterfly and flowers, glued that down, and then the border here, the purple stripes, cut that out and glued it, and then I'll put my words on top. So this way your words won't be obstructed by image if you glued your words down first, because you want to be able to read your words. <clears throat> so artist training cards can be made out of lots of materials. These are some that Mr. Barton made before we left school and we were going to participate in an artist trading card swap so um i asked some teachers to make a couple of cards if they wanted to and then we could swap during our swap um and that is something that will happen whenever we go back to school so to give you something for to look forward to so these are done with watercolor and ink so that brings me to our theme for our virtual art camp middle and upper school your theme is insects so this is a card that I made to swap with my students and it's tissue paper um, and then images I cut out of a honey nut Cheerios box so you probably recognize the bee from the honey nut Cheerios box and then I just cut out words and added those this one I created um, yesterday as part of this virtual art camp so um i have an image this is a photo that i took um, of my garden one summer and you have the little spider on the inside of the flower so i started out with watercolor and watercolored um just to make it look like paint strokes in the back then filled in the white area with black ink pen i glued my photograph on top and then I found these little stickers at Dollar Tree. So Dollar Tree has all these cool little craft um, materials um, that you can buy for a dollar. So then I put my stickers on. So on the back, I like to date things um, with either the year or the full date. Um, I title the insect and then spring break virtual art camp and then I sign it. So you want to make sure that you sign your artist trading cards so that years from now when you're flipping through these and you're looking at all the cool cards you collected, you can remember 
whose card you have and who you traded with, okay? So you're starting your art collection off early. So for this video, I'm going to create an artist trading card. Um, and mine is going to be a dragonfly. So your artist trading cards can be any material. So when I do collage, I like to put collage on something sturdy because you're going to be gluing a lot, so you don't want it to um, wrinkle. So I cut up cereal boxes, cracker boxes, um, any kind of box that's kind of sturdy. Um, so you would use that for collage. And you could collage on this side or the brown side. So today, I'm going to make a watercolor. So I cut out a sheet from my mixed media sketchbook. If you have a watercolor sketchbook, you could do that. But again, your card needs to be two and a half by three and a half inches. Okay. Um, so we're keeping to that size. So I'm going to draw a dragonfly. Dragonflies are insects and I've always loved dragonflies. So I have an image on my computer that I'm looking at to kind of draw the body. So you want to break this down into like simple shapes. So a dragonfly, you have an oval that's kind of turned on its side. And then you have ovals that are straight for the body. And then the tail. So my dragonfly comes off my paper. So your insects can come off the paper or you can make them really small so you see the whole thing. You know, you're creating these so you get total freedom to make this any way you want. It's your artwork, so. And this is just a little free activity. So you're not getting graded, you can have fun. And artist trading cards are a really good way to try out new techniques without wasting a lot of materials. So if you've always wanted to try collage or watercolor, this is a really good opportunity for you to um, experiment and play around with those materials without wasting um, a lot of paper or a lot of paint. Okay. So my wings aren't quite even, which is fine. We're not going for perfection here. We're just creating and having some fun. All right, so that's the body of my dragonfly. And now I'm gonna use some watercolor. So these are the watercolors that came in your art supply kits. Um, this year which are really cool you have a lot of colors they fan out and they come with a nice brush so I drop some water on there and I want to like paint all this in so watercolor does its own little thing so if you don't stay within the lines, totally fine. Because what I'm going to do is go back over this with a pen to add details. So while I'm painting this, I'm going to speed the video up a little bit so you're not watching me paint in real time.
Um, so I think I'm gonna stop here from right for right now. I'm not sure what else I want to add to it, but it doesn't feel finished. Um, so you can keep working on your artist trading cards. Um, so have fun making your cards, make as many as you want, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.